Hello, and welcome once again to Lost in Criteria, the show where I, the Adam Glass, and my good friend, John Patrick or with Dorgan, talk about the Criterion Collection. This week we are on spine number, uh, what? <laughs> I shouldn't have said it. 28. <laughs> number 28. I should, I should be ready if I'm going to subtly yeah. spring the spine number on people. We're discussing them in order of spine number, and this week is spine number 28, Blood for Dracula by Paul Morrissey, made in 1974, made back to back with the movie we talked about last time. Fresh, uh, flesh for Frankenstein, not fresh. Fresh, 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 fresh Frankenstein. Fresh is a different word altogether. <laughs> it's an orange set. Oh, out. I want to see that movie. Fresh, fresh for Frankenstein. The Fresh Frank, Prince of Frankenstein. <laughs> the Fresh Prince of Frankenstein. Yeah, uh, pretty much. See, now the rest of the day, I'm going to be writing the theme song to that to that movie. <laughs> For Dracula, uh, starring uh, much of the same cast of uh, of the other, and movie. yet almost all of them are doing a better job. Uh, almost all of them, yes. Um, Except for Joe freaking whatever his name Del is, Delasandro. Delasandro, that's what who it was. Manages to become more rapey. <laughs> yes, yes, he is worse in that. He is playing a worse character in this movie. It doesn't help that he's. Oh, I don't think it's a character. He's not a very likable person. <laughs> Uh, I'm really not convinced it's a character. Yeah, this this movie, uh, in this movie, uh, Udo uh, cures uh, Dracula and his assistant. They're living in Romania. Um, I like his assistant in this his film. His assistant's wonderful. Uh, and they uh, they decide that uh, Dracula's got a problem. Dracula in this movie, in this movie's universe of Dracula. <laughs> virgins. Yes, he needs this he needs a virgin. Uh, he needs a virgin. Um, no, uh, Dracula can only live on virgin blood in this movie, and uh, he's all out of virgins around uh, around Romania, which so, is like uh, an absurd premise, by the way. <laughs> to be completely out of virgins, but Romania, a country, <laughs> yes. has no more virgins. There's no more virgins in Romania. Um, they don't say like our town. Yeah, they're like oh. The area around Castle Dracula is all out of virgins. No, no, they literally no, have to leave Romania. the country. <laughs> All of Romania. Uh, so anyway, they travel to Italy under the premise that Italy, uh, being a Catholic nation, <laughs> will have more virgins. Which I love. No, I just love that premise. That that, it's a, no, it's that everyone it's, agrees it's that that's a good idea. It's the setup for a for a horror spoof. It's perfect. <laughs> yes, because no, it is makes no sense. No, absolutely. I love this movie better than Flesh and Flesh for Frank is Oh, absolutely. If yes. you listen, I to, actually like. If this you movie. listen to the last episode, we uh, we struggled to talk about Flesh for Frankenstein without comparing it to Blood for Dracula, and. Uh, it's because we both hated Flash Frankenstein. I didn't hate it, but, but you, Paul, yeah, I hated it. You definitely hated, did. But the point um, is, is that this, yeah, given is, the, it, it's the exact same idea. Take yeah. a horror, yeah, concept, and try to spoof it, right? Yeah, it's been yeah. It, it, people do it all the time, right? But yeah. This one does a good job, whereas Flash for Frankenstein did a yeah. crap job. So and it's, it's bewildering. Kind of like, it's bewildering that all of the same people involved. Yeah. Same people, same director, same yeah. everything. Yeah. And they did a lousy job on the first one and a yeah. pretty, pretty good job on the second one. So so a couple of interesting background things in this. Uh, one, again, like Flesh for Frankenstein, this was originally marketed as Andy Warhol's, uh, Andy Warhol's uh, Dracula. Um, and, you know, Andy Warhol's name superficially being put on there just as, as a marketing gimmick. Um, because he didn't, uh, he didn't really have a lot to do with it. Interesting thing, uh, Marchese de Fior, uh, the father, the, the rarely seen father of the family that they end up staying with in Italy, uh, is played by Vittorio de Sica, uh, whose name I can't pronounce, uh, but he is the director of the Bicycle Thieves. Uh, he is, he is a classic French director. Uh, and also, uh, Roman Polanski has a cameo in an early scene, when they first get to Italy, um, he uh, he tells them about the family that they should go see. And later, he has an ideological cameo when uh, Mario uh, rapes a 14-year-old girl. Um, that was a terrible joke, wasn't it? Yeah. 
like we said in the last movie, there's this weird uh, pedigree of people involved with these movies. Um, yeah, and th- I would almost say this one's weirder. Yeah, than, <laughs> this one's weirder that Ro- Roman Polanski, it is weirder. that two two very very well known directors uh, have acting roles in this movie uh, in very very weird ways um, and very very short cameos too, you know. Uh, but yeah, Polanski is only in it for like three minutes, but he's got he's got a lot of lines for his three minutes. Um, yeah. And this movie, you know, when I started watching this movie, I wasn't... Because I watched this one before Flesh for Frankenstein. I, I, I didn't really know what to expect. And I wasn't I wasn't sure that this was a spoof when I started watching it. Right. But just the opening scenes are so ridiculous of, of you know, it's, it's... Oh, I love it. No, yeah. Dracula, like, putting on his makeup. And, you know, he's very... He's centuries old. So he's got, he's got the white hair. And, you know, he pales his skin and... and and makes his eyebrows even bigger than they already are, and blackens his hair, and spends so much time making his lips like bright red, and and it's really it's like he's putting on clown makeup, and it's it's very ridiculous. And then they but, they no, paint. It, it works though because yeah. you yeah. Even, and even not being a spoof, it works because yeah. you kind of get this like, oh, this is the ritual that a person who's been dead for <laughs> yeah yeah two hundred years goes through because he's also completely out of touch and. And then they, and it's, then they pan nice. back. They pan back, and uh, he's uh, he's got no reflection, and he walks out of the room. And it's, it's yeah, it's a fun scene. Um, and uh, you know, he has that he has that conversation with his assistant about how there's no more no more virgins in all of Romania. <laughs> um, do we need to pronounce it that way from now on? He d- they virgins. do in the movie, and I really want to. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm okay with that. Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, Italy has no more virgins. Um, and, and Dracula is really nervous about leaving. He's like, well, I won't fit in. I don't dress appropriately. And they're all like, no, no, it'll be fine. You you have a very uh, very esteemed look about you. Yeah. And, <laughs> well, what will we do with yeah. the coffin? I need it to sleep. Well, we'll just put it on. Yeah, we'll tie that, it to the roof of the that, car. That dialogue right there is really when you start getting the sense that this is c- yeah. not this serious. Is, this is a funny movie. Because, um, yeah, their conversation is absurd. Because he sounds yeah. like a grandma. Yes. yes. The jokes, <laughs> but if we the leave, jokes work who will take care of the owls? <laughs> yes. The you jokes were the work dead owls? The jo- yes. And, and, well, I'll just, let me get one of the birds. No, you can't take the birds with you. <laughs> They're the birds are traveling. dead. They'll fall apart. They're not for traveling. <laughs> I love it. No, it's great. Uh, no, that 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 conversation is wonderful. Yeah, yeah, and and it's it's the only the only somewhat problem with that conversation is that the guy who plays the assistant isn't that great an actor, um, and it feels everything he says feels very forced. He delivers them well, the lines well, and they're good lines, I suppose, but he doesn't really. Deliver yeah, I mean, well. he's not a great actor, but yeah. it, it turns out okay because. Yeah. Again, we get into the thing where Udo Kier is so much <laughs> so ridiculous. that he, you don't really need any other actors in the film yeah. because, again, we end up with people like yeah. Joe Delisandro who is or Delisandre, who is not an actor and doesn't by make any stretch of the word. No, and he doesn't make sense in his in his portrayal, especially in this. In the last one, yeah, yeah. especially since he has this weird Bronxian accent or but whatever. Yeah, he's it is. got this very stereotypical Bronx accent, and he's supposed to be the Italian. Uh, in a, an Italian uh, servant, essentially, even though he he would yeah, and the way he re- yeah, no, it's okay. We'll get into that, yeah. in a minute, but no, yeah. golly, that drove me nuts. Yes. I was more angry about that than anything <laughs> else. Um, but no, yeah, like yeah, the assistant can't act very well, but guess what? It doesn't matter because no. it's got Udo Kier in the dialogue, <laughs> yes. and so and he's one it's moment. fine. And, and there's one there's one moment I really love because it's kind of a a subtle. And I don't even know if it was meant to be a joke, but there's like, when they walk out the door, and the door goes to the small courtyard, and then there's like a hundred foot bridge, because the castle, the castle Dracula is just on this like butte in the middle of Romania. Yeah. (laughs) Um, And and, uh, the car is just sitting there, but there's not room enough for that car to have turned around. Yeah. And they did, there's not it's 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 just he as up wide. The bridge. He's backed up the entire bridge apparently, and, and <laughs> thinking about that just 
made me laugh for the for the next like two minutes because it's all like driving sequence for the next two minutes. So. Yeah, but like everything about the even the driving sequence is comedic. The music yeah. is comedic. Yeah, and just a yeah. coffin on the roof is just yeah, so good. The coffin and with a wheelchair on a top coffin of that. and a wheelchair tied to the roof. It's so great. It's like. <laughs> And, like, they're like, oh, no, it'll be fine. Like, uh, you know, like, the assistant's like, don't worry. Like, here, you'll be fine. And, like, it's like, no, he wouldn't be. Yes. He's driving around with a coffin yeah. and a wheelchair on his roof. <laughs> He's not going to be fine. This um, is not something that's going to end well. No. Uh, after after their conversation with Roman Polanski, uh, and they're trying to decide whether or not to go to the, uh, whether or not to go go to the, the, rich, the house that they were they were recommended uh <clears throat> i like that Dr- dracula's concern is that it won't be a nice enough house for him and yeah. uh, and the response is oh i'm sure i'm sure they're religious they have a very nice house yeah yeah right right yeah just that these, was a good good response yeah. there's a lot of there's a lot of great jokes and they're all like actual jokes in this movie whereas in the last movie the humor wasn't necessarily you know with the exception of the one line about the gallbladder, um, there weren't a really, uh, really a lot of written jokes. Well, you know, I really feel bad for you because you really watched these in the wrong order because Maybe yours I went did. downhill pretty heavily. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, mine made a dramatic turn for the better with this film. So, yeah, yeah, you, it was. Um, you did it better. Yeah, the jokes are the jokes are jokes. funny. Yeah. yeah, they are actual jokes yes. that somebody actually wrote. Um, <laughs> They don't depend entirely on the funny way that Udo, Udo Kier uh, pronounces the word virgins. <laughs> yes. Um, virgins. And, you know, I mean, it's, yeah. It, <laughs> of course there's And even there's there, even the sight cafe. gags, like the yeah. wheelchair and the and the, yeah. and the roof yeah. and the and the coffin of the roof. is It's a yeah. sight gag. This, Although this, I like the fact that in this universe of vampires, yeah. sun, not a problem. Not a problem at all. Virgins, problem. Yeah, can't find virgins. And you know, and 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 I mentioned I mentioned in the last movie that one of Morrissey's sort of themes for the movies was that um, cultural obsession with sex was kind of leading everyone downhill, and that works a lot better in this movie because you know the only likable character in this movie is Dracula. Yes. And uh, I mean, with the possible exception of the fourteen-year-old girl, the only <laughs> the only likable person in this movie is Dracula, and and he's uh, the only one, yeah. And he's not really an evil Dracula. His, you know, everybody... No, you really feel sympathetic for him. Yeah. Like, really severely so You're like, oh, yeah. I feel bad that he can't... And he can't feed... Dinner. He can't feed because he can't find a virgin anywhere. It's... Yeah. It's... It's and really, at the it's end, like, I, not to jump all the way to the end, but you do kind of get the, like, oh, man, they killed him for no reason. Yeah. 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 Because, like, I can't figure out... From what we can tell, when he feeds on them, they do not die. Yeah. They kind um, of become his mind slaves if they're not if they're not virgins. Yeah. That's but, kind of the implication there. But uh, at the but same then time, again, it's not like it's not like the really you know because like in modern vampire film, not yeah. super modern because I've not watched any of the more recent yeah forays into vampire ness. <laughs> um, but you know, like. In your in your blades and things like that. Let's take that as an example. Yeah. Um. You you've got vampires that are evil not just because they drink blood but because they like they the people they attack die. Yeah. Like they are predators. You don't get a predator vibe from vampire from Dracula in this. You get a no. more more like a leech than a yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Like it's true. And I'm not I'm not entirely convinced that what the uh, two sisters do after they were bitten by him isn't isn't something that they might have done before they were bitten by him. Uh-huh. Yeah, right exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's maybe yeah, they kind of they lost uh any amount of self-restraint. But they already didn't have a whole heck of a lot of self-restraint. Yeah, so it's a, I mean <laughs> and like and really it's weird because it makes that Joe guy. Oh, Joe. Oh, man. Joe like, Joe is I the center know. of all of my problems with this movie. And there Me are too. movies that are slightly outside of Joe, but he's the center of all of them. Um, so, 
one thing one thing that Paul Morrissey didn't like is you know sort of the free sexual nature of society. But one thing he did like was, uh, you know, uh, my, my, you know, communism. A lot of the ideas that that Mario yeah, presents but to in this have movie. Joe present it. Yeah, and having Joe present them is because so Joe upsetting. is a jerk. Yeah, and the thing is, is that when Joe says it, it doesn't come off as like. It, it doesn't even come off, off as a good idea. No, it comes off as like, man, the people. I, I don't know. It's yeah. And just I'm, a I'm a big fan of the, a lot of the, as as people probably have already figured out from talking. I'm pretty much a big fan of those kind of ideas anyway. But yeah, man, having Joe said him was like, ugh. <laughs> Joe, and Joe made me feel bad. For it, so yeah. Joe made me feel bad for ever having any socialistic thoughts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Same here. It's like, I was like, man, I gotta go join the tea party. Um, <laughs> like Joe well, was really like, yeah, oh, if you were, man, if just you were going, disgusting. If you were trying to make a socialist, a socialist villain, uh, who wasn't, you know, <laughs> a dictator, a... who wasn't a dictator, Joe right, would be right. It. If you're trying to make, well, no, what you really Joe is is if you had to make. A commentary on what socialists are like. Yes. And you're not one. If you are, yes. let's say you are working for the Third Reich. Yes. <laughs> and you want to make proof positive that socialists are a bunch of douchebags. <laughs> all you'd have to do is go, and yeah. here's Joe. Yes. Uh, yeah. I, his, I don't his know. His character I, name is actually Mario in this. Maybe it, it doesn't matter. Stuff. He's Joe. But the actor, because he, because he Joe doesn't, can't act. He doesn't act, act outside himself. <laughs> no. Yeah, Joe, Joe is Joe. He yeah. might as well have been billed as Joe for yes. the character name. Like because like, his name. He is. He just acts like a dude yeah. from New York. So, yeah. Every time, you know, he sets himself up as the proletariat... Uh, revolting against Dracula's <sighs> aristocracy. Right, and he just comes off as lazy. Yeah. And Dracula's already so far removed from aristocracy. Right. Dr- it's not Dracula, like he represents yeah. any of the any of the dangers of aristocracy in this movie. He's right, which, a completely I mean, yeah. ineffectual he needs virgins to live, but that's his only motivation, really. I mean he's not well, and, he's rich, he's, but he's and, not Yeah. I understand that that's Oftentimes, what Dracula is supposed yeah. to represent, yeah. But this one is not. He's just a dude, basically. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, yeah. like Dracula is just a guy who's like, man, I'm he's, really, he's kind of really he's a hungry. Sad, pathetic dude. Yeah, he's a he's a grandma who's hungry. Yes. yes. I mean, you get it. He even puts off that vibe. Like all the time when he's talking, he's he's an old man. Yeah, he's always sick. He's very he's well hungry. acting. Yeah. For for a movie that's supposed to be over the top, he it's very well acted in that sense. Like, yeah, yeah. He comes off as an old. Yeah, he presents cuddly, it very well. Yeah, like. Yeah. Kind of putzes around a little bit. <laughs> yes, and and then Mario, Mario, who if this movie has a hero, you know, Dracula, should have Dracula been. in this movie, Dracula in this movie is. He's like an anti-villain. Because uh, cause he's 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 the bad guy of the movie because he's Dracula, but, but he's so, so much lo- so yeah. lovable. And Mario, Mario isn't an antihero in any good sense of that word. No, he's... Mario is a bad guy. Yeah, from so, every so, way you, you know, can view the film, Mario is actually the villain. We haven't gotten really into it yet. Mario like actively rapes two people in this movie. Um, at least. And, at least two, uh, and, and he's literally always... openly talks about raping. Yeah, everyone who has sex in this movie has sex with Mario. It's yes. a good thing. Uh, Mar- First of all, Mario is part of all of any sexual encounter in this movie. Um, well, the two girls kiss he is... each other the one time. Oh yes, they do. They do have have the kissing. Uh, but, so. but yeah, he like like the one the one sister. There's four sisters, and the oldest one is homely, and and no one likes her. Um, and she's she's a virgin, and the youngest, the fourteen year old, is a virgin, and the two middle sisters aren't virgins because they've had sex with Mario. And the one comes to him, and you know she's she's not feeling it at that moment, so he he essentially forces her into it, 
And, you know, it's foreshadowing for what he does to the 14-year-old at the end of the movie, ostensibly to save her from Dracula. Uh, because he realizes Dracula needs virgin blood, so he decides to make her not a virgin anymore. But, but yeah, he he's rapey. It's not even like no, kind of rapey. He even he, says, he ra- I he really, act, really, and he even before, says, yeah, yeah, before about the fourth. Yeah. yeah, sorry, the first we're both time we meet him, yeah. the first time we meet him, he he talks about the fourteen-year-old girl and says, essentially, I would rape the. No, heck he out says of her. the word rape. He yeah. says, "I would, yeah. I would really like to rape her or something along." I forget the yeah. exact line, but he yeah. even uses the word "rape." He doesn't say like. He, yeah. There's no euphemistic words here. He just says no. "rape her," he, which he means that it. because he foreshadows that right at the beginning, we understand. It, it just emphasizes the fact that he's the bad guy. Yeah, yeah, and there's 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 another problem I have that is that's that's a writing problem, uh, and less a Mario problem. In both instances where he is on screen raping someone, they give in and start to enjoy it really fast. Yeah, that bothers me. And that that is very bothersome. You know, well, I can it's kind a little of hard to tell with one. Well, because I can the... maybe. Yeah, go ahead. You, I can maybe kind of understand it with the older sister, because you know they're they're partners anyway. Uh, it's still not a good thing. You know, no, but that, if that's that part of their, her. you can buy into the but, idea that maybe but, that's part of their yeah. relationship, relationship anyway. Yeah, but maybe with people, the fourteen-year-old, yeah. you no, know, it's it, I guess it's 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 ambiguous. You can say, but given that the rest of the movie, he's holding her hand and she's by his side, and you know, he kind of takes over the estate at the end as 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 you know, head of the family. Um. It's no, it does not work for me. <laughs> that's no, that's disgusting and bad. Um, yeah, it's it's yeah, he's a bad character and he's a bad actor and it's yeah, so it's a bad actor playing movie. a bad character and yeah, it, it, the, the low point of this movie is everything to do with Mario as a character and Joe as an actor. And it's um, really unfortunate because otherwise, you really want Dracula to win. Yeah. You real and he's so pathetic at the end. Yeah, and that yeah. that's about the only scene I do not like in the film. Like, really, really hate is watching Dracula be hacked to bits, and then yeah. it's like, oh, really? Yeah, and having it such a violent demise for a guy we liked anyway. Yeah, and a guy who ostensibly is supposed to, you know, represent the old ways. You know, I don't, I don't want to like the old ways, but I like Dracula, and I yeah, want Dracula right. to win here. Because, uh, the, because this version of the old ways via this Dracula is yeah. like your grandma putzing around the yeah. house, and, and the She's not of evil. The, new ways, the way we're presenting the new ways through Mario, the murderous rapism. Yeah, 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 makes me it's hate weird. Them. Yeah, it's, and then so like it's, it's so yeah. like. Maybe Paul Morris, he really like that's his name, right? Yeah, was really big, in it, but like he, it has to be a parody of socialist behavior, like ideologies. There's no yeah. way that this is a legitimate like. Because he drops into ranch at the drop of a hat. And... Yeah, and then like he's got a hammer and sickle on his freaking yeah. wall. <laughs> he's got hammer it's and like it's too it much, head. right? So it has to be parody. Yeah, yeah. which uh... I guess for that point, it's good at that. Like, because Joe does a very good job of being an asshole. (laughs) Yes, he does. So if our goal is to say, like, look, you don't want to be this guy either. Yeah. It does a great job. I, yeah, certainly. I agree there. Don't murder, Um, like, thing. Well, but I guess you can kind of buy into the idea that, like, you could, the lesson can also be, like, instead of the lesson being, like, death to the old ways, it's more, don't. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like, <laughs> you don't need to hack people to bits just because they don't, uh, you know, they represent... Just because you disagree with them. Yeah, just they because they represent something, you, something you don't like, yeah. they yeah. don't. They, if they're not doing anything to hurt you, leave it alone. Yeah. And it's he's hacked to bits in a very uh, Black Knight from Monty Python. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> right. Um, he, loses, he loses one arm and it spurts blood, and then he loses one leg, and then, yeah. Yeah, I was waiting for the I'm not dead yet. Yes. <laughs> But he's not, you know. He doesn't have to say it. But he's he's not. It's just it's so that is that is the over the top, the gratuitousness of of that violence. 
<laughs> given yeah. given that we haven't seen that in the rest of the movie, uh, is is annoying. Annoying, yeah. Not even like off putting. Not like it's just like why? it didn't make me like sick. It's just why is this here? You were doing yeah. you were doing pretty well. Yeah, you were doing so well. Um, by the way, though, I would like to yeah. point. Um, what was I? Ah, oh, shoot, I forgot. Never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I had an idea and then it just slipped away. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep talking about this. no about um Joe. I forgot. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, It'll Joe. come back. So yeah, Joe's Joe's only there. He he's the servant, but when when Dracula's assistant calls him a servant, he's like, "No man, <sighs> yeah, I'm a worker." And the assistant just in in a really great condescending moment. Says, oh, <laughs> yeah. I must have misunderstood the translations. I'm not very good with your language. Uh, I thought worker and servant were the same word. Yeah, yeah, it's very like yeah, it's, yeah. It's every great the jokes. movie is pretty well. Pretty yeah. well designed to make him an asshole, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. I do find it slightly unbelievable that 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 Joe was able to make the intuitive leap that that Dracula is a vampire. <laughs> yes. Because Joe yeah. doesn't demonstrate what one would classically call <laughs> intelligence. Well, I think I think Joe's Joe's the only person who uh, has ever seen a vampire movie within the realm of this. Oh, okay, and I can buy that. Maybe. Um. One thing I kind of like to have seen in this movie was for Joe to be wrong. Mm. You know, despite the fact that we already know Dracula's a vampire, but if we didn't, and he was just paranoid, if it's like the boobs. Yeah, yeah, I kind of thought that too. I was like, I, if, if, yeah. if Dracula never bit anybody. Yeah. We could have, <laughs> Sorry. We could have really too, ended up in a situation where he merged him and like Dracula was actually looking for somebody yeah. to be his wife. And that's just the rules of his yeah. family yeah. or religion is that she has to be a virgin. Yeah. yeah. Well, that would have been a good movie too. It's, it's weird that everybody, well, I guess not everybody's are directly on board because, because the mother isn't on board until she gets attacked, I guess, but she's ready to be attacked because she's, she draws a gun on the guy before he stabs her. So, or before he even brandishes the knife, but mm. but yeah, it's 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 weird. I guess that that despite the fact that they're supposed to be his mind slaves, the uh, the two older sister or the two middle sisters don't uh, don't like try to stop the mom. Yeah, so, yeah, and th- and that's what makes it kind of like I think really kind of ambiguous his mind as slaves? to yeah. what they are. Yeah, kind of ambiguous as to how they're how they're reacting to being bit. One one great thing when they are bit though, I love Dracula's reaction to it not being uh, virgin blood because it's it's just food poisoning. That's right. That's his what face he gets. turns green. Yeah, his face turn his face actively turns green, which is a silly moment. But, but it's then fun. and then we get like two after each of them, we get a five minute scene of him vomiting in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, and that's great. Those are great. And, and it's ridiculous. And it's not like it's not like over the top vomiting. It's not like Saturday Night Live. We've got a hose in our sleeve, squirting squirting fake vomit everywhere. He's vomiting blood into the bathtub. It's, just, <laughs> it's mostly him dry dry heaving more than anything. Yeah, <laughs> but those are great scenes. I he does. But they, it's, but they really they, are actually great scenes. And, and they're comedic they're somehow. Scenes. It's weird because you can yeah. so easily with that kind of like vomiting scene. For comedic yeah. effect, end up with the Monty Python guy who yeah. shoots vomit just, across the room. But it, the way it's he's lying a little bit, just, yeah, it's it's completely ridiculous. But it's not it's not gratuitous in its vomit, but it's just a funny scene in the way it works. Right, because he has food yeah. poisoning. It, it, that, yeah, it is, yeah, food it's food like it's food in poisoning. a comedy where somebody gets food. Yeah, it's so <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's not, yeah, and and it's treated like a comedy would treat food poisoning, you know, with a jump cut and a, yeah, to vomit. <laughs> yeah, 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 and but, then yeah. like kind of way overacting, like rolling around on the floor. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a, it's it's silly. It's silly, and I like it. Yeah, um, I mean, I, yeah, this but is, it's this is yeah, enjoyable. Yeah, film. one problem with this movie is is the. You know, we we covered the middle scissors, but one problem with this movie is the effects of Dracula's bite, because, like I said, the two the two middle sisters um, are just 
you know, maybe they're buying slaves or maybe they're just, you know, doing stuff they do otherwise. Well, and I'm I'm leaning towards, and I, I, I'd have to watch the movie again to, to confirm this, but I'm probably not going to do that. Um, that it's possible that, like, they actually enjoyed the experience. Maybe. Like, they, 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 they might, you may be, it may be more of a shock yeah. situation that they're in yeah. than a, like, mind slaves. So it might be more yeah. that, like, they, they actively try to get their sister to try this because they think it was great. And they've already yeah. been actively con- trying to convince their sister to have sex anyway. Yeah. Throughout yeah. the film. And so it's like, well, if this was really good and maybe they don't remember being bit. You know what I mean? Maybe like they do. Maybe maybe they, they sexualize to... the bite and they're fine with it. Yeah, and so like at the same time, maybe they just this is just part of them trying to convince her to do things that they do anyway. So yeah, yeah. And then the older sister's reaction isn't necessarily unbelievable. It's you know she's she's bit and she uh, but at the same time, Dracula is probably the first person to show interest in her for a very long time. So, so her reaction of you know being in love with him is believable too. Right, you know, it's not, right. It's not healthy. It's not healthy, but it's believable. It's believable, yeah. and like, but and her reaction, I like, I got a little bit lost when I was watching that last scene, like how she ended up on the spike too. Uh, yeah, does she, she fall on it on purpose or not? She falls. I don't think she throws herself on it because it's kind of unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, obvious, obviously the. Uh, the force of her fall should not have been enough. Have, yeah. Should not have done that, and and it's very obviously that Joe doesn't kill her. Uh, yeah. She is either sacrificing herself to die with her love, or it's an accident. But, but right, yeah. and and yeah, so it's weird a little bit because we kind of just kill her for no reason uh, yeah. in the film, yeah. other than the fact that you just have to end the film with no more vampires. Um, yeah. And but but we don't necessarily. I mean, she's kind of got pointy teeth, maybe, but we've never seen her teeth before, so I don't necessarily know that <laughs> she doesn't just naturally a, have pretty yeah. well developed canines. Yeah, yeah. She's she's you know she's not necessarily acting a vampire. Um, right. She's more just acting. Yeah. yeah. Again, she's a woman who literally no one else has ever expressed any interest in her. <laughs> Yeah, well, not not no one else because she was oh, right, she was right. She was engaged, bit, but, but the point is, it's been a very long time, and yeah, he was probably from what we saw, nice and seemed like a pretty yeah. The yeah, his character comes off as nice. Yeah, and 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 Dracula even you know in that niceness when he finds out you know that his two choices left are a fourteen year old and and an older girl. You know, he's concerned about going after the 14-year-old because he doesn't feel proper about it. Yeah, um, Dracula's very interesting that way, right? Like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. When, and instead he goes for the older girl and, you know, and we don't, we don't really get to find out what he would do. You know, he's, he's, they're kind of in the process of leaving after he finds out that the older girl was engaged. So he's still not really interested in going after the 14-year-old at all. Yeah, it's really not. Yeah, he only yeah, which makes which makes Mario's reaction even even worse. more atrocious. Yeah, as if it could be more atrocious, um, raping her. Yeah, that was. Uh, uh, yeah, that's yeah. when I was a little bit confused because I was watching that. Okay, and it didn't even seem like he had a chance <laughs> to rape her. Yeah, like they're yeah. all still wearing clothes. He moves yeah, he, like he two tears. times or something. It's like maybe she still time, is a virgin. It's hard to tell. Every time Mario has sex with his pants on, it's very the positioning is very unbelievable. Well, even when it's without pants, the positioning is pretty yeah. off. It's like with her belly button. Yeah. Yes. He, he you don't understand how that. I think all the girls are actually virgins because Mario doesn't know what's going on here. <laughs> Mario keeps trying to uh, to screw people in the gallbladder. That's the <laughs> right, right. Um, oh man, it's a lead in. Yeah, we we know. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Mario Mario is the same character. Yeah. In both films, he just escapes from those children and is permanently scarred. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Wants to start a new world <laughs> order full of gallbladder fucking. 
Pardon yes, my French. Obviously. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> oh, yeah. But no, yeah, yeah like, uh, there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's the villain, though, so I guess we can accept that the villain does villainous things. I assume we have to regard him as truly the villain of the film, right? Like, we're supposed to treat him as the villain, right? Who, Dracula? No, um, or Mario. 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 No, I, I hope Joe. that Mario is supposed to be the villain of this movie. Uh, otherwise, otherwise, I do not like this movie. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, it really depends. But yeah. Which makes it makes it kind of a downer ending to have him in charge of the family at the end of it. But. Well, see, I didn't get that. That's part of the Criterion Collection. The okay. regular version apparently just ended with the murder. Oh, okay. And that's it. That's the okay. end. And I kind of like that better. Having you having told me how the Criterion Collection ends, maybe I, maybe it's just something I understood from it. I don't know. Anyway, well, we'll have to yeah, we'll, we'll have to check. <laughs> yeah. No, we won't. <laughs> we'll never find out. We'll have to, we'll have to never talk about this movie again. Yeah, we might mention <laughs> no. it. There's some we but, mentioned some other movies. I use Beauty and the Beast yeah. as my preferred uh, <laughs> pointer for a movie I kind of hate. Yeah, we talk about Hudson <laughs> Hawk a lot. Yeah, but that's not a criteria. Should be. Though it should be. That and Real Genius. Real Genius is a great movie. It is. Real Genius is a great movie. Very hard to find a copy of for me. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Well, uh, I'd mail you mine, but Please. then I wouldn't have Yeah, you wouldn't have a copy of Real Genius. Let's talk about Real Genius for the rest of the podcast. <laughs> Let's not talk about Real Genius for the rest of the we can do We can do our own, a separate podcast where we talk about the complete works of Val Kilmer. <laughs> Um, after we're done with this and one. Udo Kier I think we can and Udo Kier we can make it actors we love actors we love Val Kilmer and Udo Kier Udo Kier <laughs> anyway. but uh, not Joe Delisandre or whatever yeah that's Joe Delisandre or whatever his last name I know Joe it's something is like that I, I'll never remember no it's, it's I don't. fine I'm just proud of myself for remembering Udo Kier that one's gonna stick with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was gonna look it up, but I'm not even I'm not even interested enough in figuring oh, out the, the, this. No. Oh, I have it open. I can go find it. I just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there. I have the Wikipedia page open. I'm just not gonna yeah. Delisandro. Da- yeah, Dalessandro. Dalessandro. Man, we see his butt does, way too much too. We see his movie. This movie does have a lot of nudity, um, even compared to *Flesh for Frankenstein*, which has the word "flesh" in it. Um, this movie, they both have a lot of nudity. Yeah, but, but this one. But this one is a lot less off-putting because there's not yeah. scars right next to the to the nipples. <laughs> that that really helps there's... me as a person. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. No, because like, uh, the last one was really gross. Like this one is just like oh here's some more unnecessary horror film boobs, because that's a thing, you know. I mean that's a that's just a thing. This movie though, yeah, I really I really like this movie a lot better than Flesh for Frankenstein. They it, they are worlds apart for me. They yeah they really are, um, yeah. Dracula here he's like really dignified and it's. He's a really likable character, and I feel sorry for him. Hmm. And I don't know. I don't often feel sorry for Dracula in a Dracula movie. Um, even movies where I'm supposed to kind of like Dracula. Like, what's that with uh, the Dracula parody, Dead and Loving It? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I don't... Where, yeah. Yeah, this one, you, yeah. you yeah, you buy into... Leslie Nielsen plays. Yeah. yeah. I would like to point out that I'm reading the um, the Wikipedia for this now, and apparently, yeah. the the this film was partly improvised because Flesh for Frankenstein was quick, too quick, and didn't cost as much as they thought it would. Oh. So they kind of just improvised this as like extra, I guess. So they made this. They made that. That's bewildering me because that means they planned. Flesh for Frankenstein. But this is something that just organically happened. Yes. Yeah. Which is weird because this is such a better movie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that, uh, 
that goes to goes to show you what happens if you plan too much for a thing. Right, you um, make flesh for Frankenstein and need to be beaten. Yeah. Yes. That's very interesting. Well, I'm glad I'm glad you have Wikipedia open Me and too. are being quiet while you read it. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, 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 no, you're you you're better at this than I am. You talk more than I do. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay, Pat. I still love you. I love you I too, love Adam. You. Thank you. On that note. And we can't end the podcast yet. It's too early. It's only like forty minutes. Let's talk about let's ah. talk about Hudson Hawk. <laughs> We're time travel. Time travel works too. No, we already talked um, about those things in the last few episodes. What else is there to say about this movie? <laughs> just start talking. Just start talking very slowly. Really slowly. Oh, I'm trying to think. Like, if there's anything else that needs to be said about, um, I think I like the betting no, game think... that they play. I'm gonna try that next time I go out drinking. What was that? What, the I can do what you out, do, or whatever you, or you can do what I yes. do, or whatever. That was fun. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, no. I, I, there is one scene we didn't mention, uh, I guess, uh, when they're still in the bed and breakfast or the, the pub or whatnot, um, and there's that car accident outside, and they're so they're so elated that it was a twelve year old girl because that means she's she's almost undoubtedly not had sex. I I'm a little disappointed that they uh, they didn't have some sort of weird. I'm kind of sad he didn't have the same vomitous reaction to her. <laughs> That's weird. I know, it's weird. But we never knew her, so it doesn't really matter if they yeah. want to paint this character we've never met and we'll never see like that. But uh Yeah. It's uh But I I think that it would it would have better established how bad an idea it was for them to go to Italy a lot earlier. Yeah, see I think that's it's a weird <clears throat> kind of a theme of the movie is like there's no yeah. There's no virgins in Italy. <laughs> yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. And that that that's true. That would have been kind of funny. But yeah. that's I not think, the best way to establish that. Funny, unfortunately, but... that's not the best way to establish that that his his reaction to non-virgin blood yeah. because it would have just been really yeah. confusing in that situation. Yeah. Yeah, and, it plays a lot better though. Yeah, because when we first see him movie. deal with it, it's so obvious why he's sick. Yeah. Yeah. So and there's a weird there's a weird thing in this movie. Um, the Criterion the Criterion essays get into this, and this is something we can definitely talk about for a little bit. Um, they have this trying. I I don't know if it's someone reading too much trying to play up because I didn't really get this, but one of the essays suggests that the sisters aren't lying when they continue to claim they're virgins, but that they consider. They consider Mario, to, and there is a conversation to an extent that they consider Mario to be of a lower class, um, so that having sex with him doesn't even matter. So it's it's so unimportant that it doesn't count. But at the same time, this is this is Roman Catholic Italy. They know that yeah. that's against the rules. <laughs> yeah. So I don't buy that. That's that that's. I'm yeah, gonna I say that I'm gonna call bullshit on that. That's somebody <laughs> saying like. That's somebody trying yeah. to make the people who are ostensibly bad guys in the film not bad guys. Yeah. That's kind of yeah, like we get that when I we get that when people who do film critiques get a little bit too overzealous, <laughs> in my opinion. Yes. Um, because no, they know. They're 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 Roman Catholics. They they know that it always counts. Yeah. They I'm sure went to mass. They know it counts. Probably. So, there you go. I no, man. Somebody, somebody with a too much free time made that. Cr- somebody, somebody who's the same sort of person who chose to put Armageddon in the Criterion. Collection. Yeah, right. Because of all of its <laughs> deep hidden meanings. Yes. I yes. mean, animal crackers rampant on a belly button. It's the only <laughs> scene in the movie I remember, honestly, because she's got a very pretty <laughs> belly button. Okay, yeah. Uh, everything else I blanked out. <laughs> oh, um, what's his name's in it? And kind of talks with the Texas accent. Uh, no. The guy who's fun, uh, uh, Billy Bob Thornton. Oh, Billy Bob Thornton. Okay. Yeah, of course Bruce Willis is in it, but whatever. 
<laughs> that movie does have a pretty pretty interesting cast for when it was made. Yeah. It's kind of it's all star. It's it's all star in air quotes. <laughs> yes. It's looking back. It's it's all star in air quotes, but when it was made, I can understand why that movie got made. No, oh, yeah, but Oh man, we do not need to talk about Armageddon every yeah. single episode. Anyway, um, the anyway. point is, is no, that's a that's an overzealous, uh, yeah, film essayist. It's kind of like when you and I tried a little bit too hard to read deeply into like Beauty and the, what what movie was it? There was a movie <laughs> that we Beauty like. I had we had to kind of shut it down because it's like no, no. It was Beauty. Was and it? The Beast. It was Beauty. We we tried to make a lot more sense of Beauty and the Beast than I think Beauty and the Beast tried to make of itself. Yeah, and so, so. we we we've gotten over that stage in our lives, and this this essay has. No, I, I think I'll probably go back to no, that at some point. I won't let you. <laughs> well, I'm, thank you. I'm a little bit too cynical for that. I think. Okay, we're getting rammed. No, we're not. I'm... Hudson Hawk. Yeah, let's end it. Yeah, no, it's Pat. finished. Yeah. No, Pat. We're not going to talk about Hudson Hawk anymore <laughs> this time. But Da Vinci and... Next stuff. time, we can talk more about Hudson right, Hawk. Right, our, our five-minute Hudson Hawk segment per episode. Yeah. Yes. All right. It's something that we need to right. add. And we will. All right. Well, I... Yeah. You got, you got to wrap it up. I don't do All the right. little last Fine, one. I'll wrap it up. I like this movie a lot better than Flesh for Frankenstein. Uh, finding out that it was improvised after they had too much time it's on their confusing. hands for shooting Flesh or Frankenstein. It's confusing because this is a much better movie. So, um, yeah. Uh, I made a terrible joke about rape and Roman Polanski. Um, that's what we learned today. Yeah. Tune in next time. For Thanks what's for our listening. next film? Next time. Uh, we're going to talk about oh 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 oh. Let me say oh a little. Picnic bit at Hanging little Rock, little Picnic the 1975 Hanging Australian Rock. film by Peter Weir. 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 W e i. I don't know. It's English weird. is hard. Pete Weir. English is hard. You should live in a country that speaks it. Hmm. Or it doesn't, because then I don't have to use it. You're right. You're right. You're you're better off. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Yeah, we'll thank you. We'll see you next time. time. Listening to Lost in Criterion, a production of With Two Brains. The show is hosted by Adam Glass and John Patrick Owatari Dorgan. Jonathan Hape did the music, and Adam Glass also edited it all together. Feel free to contact us by email via Lost in Criterion at with two brains.com or join us on the web at www.lostincriterion.